Hello, hello, hello. What say you? Oh, yeah, leave it in the comment. Anyway, we're back. I'm back. You're back. Volcano didn't even finish charging. It apparently takes, like, half an hour to charge. Because it took me 58 minutes to win the land. And I got the volcano down pretty early. Anyway, there's some amazing things happening out here in the world. Um, yeah, here's one. Check this out. There's this weird altar thing here. Something's supposed to happen with this altar thing. Huh, I don't know, uh... I'm not sure how to trigger that. Anyway, we got some oil baron problems here. Leader, the oil baron wants to speak to you over at the oil refinery. Oh, tags. I gotta talk about the tags list. I know you guys were asking me some questions about that. You Aztec? What the hell? Why is he here in the Japanese place taking all their oil? That is frightening, isn't it? Your oil wells are all on fire. A very bad. Quick, leader! Let's help this poor chap put out his fires. Okay, you can do this before you win the land. Uh, you can either use your own water miracles to put them out, or you can get your creature to come over here and put them out if you haven't won the land yet. You need to be quick, or they're going to start back up. Okay, what the hell? I definitely. No, stop that. Go out. What the hell is going on? Things like exploding. Thank you. No. It's starting back up again. There we go. I guess I wasn't I guess you have to hit it right on top or it doesn't work. Kinda hit the ground around it a few times. Oh look at how serene that oil pump is. It's pretty primitive. <laughs> Thank the heavens! I'll leave out these special exploding barrels as an offering to you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, bombs, here we come. <laughs> okay. You really must dispose of these dreadful things in a nice, safe manner. I'm not really sure what I would do with those. I guess if I had already won the land, like if I hadn't already won the land, I could throw them at an enemy town. Or we could just play with them. Yeah, not too exciting, to be honest. Hey, there's a creature over there. Let's go kick his ass. Our gate is open, isn't it? Hopefully our creature can get over there. Yes, okay, good. Is the volcano ready to go? It is. But I think uh, we're going to make that one wait. I'm not going to cast it if there's nobody to kill with it. I mean, come on. Oh, do you want me to kill all the uh, guys coming from that one town? We don't have housing for them anyway. That would be so evil. No, they're civilians. I'm not going to take them out now. But there's supposed to be another quest over here with this idol. and I'm not sure how to get this to activate. I'm a little bit confused. Sometimes if you zoom in and you get near something and you click on it, you can in induce things into happening. I don't know. Maybe I need to just move people over to that area. Let's grab some, grab some folks. Come here, villagers. Yes. Go here to the idol. Check it out. Isn't it neat? You can stand in a circle around it and worship it. Make the quest appear so that I can actually, uh... No? Okay, run home. Maybe I need to take the town. Let's try that. I'll make a small platoon and we'll go take the town. Actually, hell, let's make a big platoon. 265 guys with swords. Yeah. Scary. Nah, screw that. I'm gonna grab it once it has like 50 people. <laughs> I don't need that many guys in the army. We're doing pretty good on food, though, actually, so it wouldn't be that bad. Look at all the men. Everyone wants to join the army. In the Navy, you can sail the seven seas in the Navy. I forget how that actually goes. It's a song by uh, the village people. In the Navy. Okay, let's go over here and take this town. Hey, one of the migrant groups has arrived. Let's let them in. 50, that, oh, ultimate good. Hey, 50,000 experience. Very nice. All right, show me the money. Use a shield miracle. Never lose a villager. Win four creature fights. Okay, took that one out too. Put all the men into the army. 
take over four towns by force. I guess I can just run around and do that right now. Create 20 platoons. Okay, here goes. You actually can make them smaller, so I'm going to make a bunch of platoons with five guys in them. It's a little bit hard to do, but it's not that bad. So, this should be fun. Okay, apparently you can only make four or five platoons from each barracks. I didn't know that. Or at least I didn't remember it. Yeah, you definitely ran, ran out of signs. Okay. I suppose I'll have to just, uh... Do I need to have 20 platoons concurrently, or can I disband those? Whatever, we'll just do some archers next. Hey, we just accepted the other migration, and we got 100,000 gold for it. That's pretty cool. I didn't expect to get that much, but alright. I'll take it. How they still know where my influence ring is beyond me. Hello, what is that? That sounds like a... Some kind of catapult shooting at our walls. But I don't see one, so... I'm too concerned. Do you see the pat- <laughs> It's like a Blue's Clues episode. Do you see the catapult? <laughs> right there, Steve! You're as blind as a fucking bat! It's right there! <laughs> I Even as a kid, I was like, Damn, Steve, it's right there, man! What the hell? Get your game together! <laughs> Alright, a couple more. A couple more of these buildings. It's apparently, I only get so many per building. You know we'd be taking that town. I suppose I could send those five guys to go take a couple of the other towns. <laughs> a few of those groups of five guys. Let's do it. Alright, you five, you go take this town, and you guys here, you five dudes, want you to go take the big one. Right there. Get out of here. Hey, creature, you can come home now. Put him on free will. Tell him to come back home. And one of you guys, actually, you know what? I have a platoon that's already out in the field. They're closer. So we'll just send them to go take this town. And that should be four. I'm going to have so many F and red flags across the bottom of my screen by the time we're done with this. With that last placed tent, we should have 20 platoons standing around with their thumbs up their asses. Let's see. What else? They're taking that town. They're taking that town. We got some guys running over who are going to take this town. Actually, you know what? You guys are closer to this one, so I'll just do that then. Hey, there we go. Finally got that thing to appear. Some people ran over to it on their own, so I don't know, maybe... Where are all these people going? Hey, look! That's a pretty neat statue. It looks like some sort of evil force is making these people crazy. See if you can snap them out of it. By burning them to death? Let's put more worshippers there. Something bad is bound to happen. Okay. So you got two choices. You can either... I don't know where all these people are running to. I really just have no idea. Maybe they think they live here? How many people does this town think it has? Five. Well, that must just be these guys worshipping over here. Anyway, you can grab him and shake him around! You dumb, dumb person! Stop worshipping false gods! That's an idol! We don't worship idols. Didn't that you? did it, leader! Yes, shake them out of their trances! <laughs> if only real religion were this easy. You there. Are you evil? Are you worshipping a thing? Oh no. Now I see, they're beating it. Apparently I only had to shake that one guy and they uh, are now all attacking it with sledgehammers. They're destroying the idol. Neat. Good job. You guys worship the right god. I will reward you. I will reward you with food. Take this. Your families will eat forever. Lots of clicking. Lots of clicking towns. Lovely. You really helped those people, and look, you got some tribute, too. Yep, statue's gone. <laughs> cool. Any more ways for me to make money? We'll get this one when we finish the land, when we leave, and never lose a villager to attack, but all the men in the army take over four towns. We got 19 platoons? Where's that last one? 
There was a tent there. There are people running towards the tent. I think that those last couple guys... Hello? Maybe? Let's see, one... Yeah, they're done. Okay. That should give it to us then. So we take that last town. Easy electricity miracle. No, no thanks. There are any armies left. Use the shield miracle. Nah. So, I suppose other than finishing... Once we finish taking over that town, that's really all there is to do in this land besides start throwing this guy again. And that's not particularly exciting. Uh, honestly, I'll do it a couple times, but... Probably no more. I just don't feel like watching this guy fly through the air for ages and ages. But! We shall have a go at it, so... In the sea. Let's start by tossing him off the mountaintop. Whee-ya! A good high lob. Do 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 do. That's what I always think of when I see this. I, I don't know why. This is an opportunity for me to talk about the tags list. Since you guys are probably putting in the comments, dude, you said you talk about the tag list, and then you didn't talk about the tag list. Uh, I didn't have a list of tags for the Fighters Guild or for Black and White Two, and so I just typed the first you few things that came to me. Got what it takes to hurt me. Oh, you're gonna regret saying that, dude. And it wasn't very good. I only had a few things in there, and I wanted to have more tags. Really, it doesn't matter what's in the tags, as long as all of my videos have the same tags list. It'll give me the result I want. The record throw, 10,000. Cool. Thank you. It's not very much, but alright. Let's give it another heave! And, uh... So I didn't know what to put in there, and what, you know, if, I don't know if you, if you guys have ever uploaded a video. Some of you, I'm sure, have. But when you do it, it makes a suggested list of tags for you if you leave your browser open to the upload page for long enough. And the tags that it suggested, that it, it always suggests for videos, are just so bad, they're almost never actually related to the co content of the video. Right on the nose. I think this one, I think this tags list actually has semiconductors in the tags list. I don't know why, I don't know where that came from, but... It will fire, make them burn! Hey, that was a interesting throw. Wow, he's going. But uh, yeah, semiconductors, RPG, missiles, or something like that. I don't. It's just random crap. And I just clicked, I clicked add all, so it added a bunch of random words. And I, uh, I don't know, just being weird. That was when I was making those really weird fighters build videos. Right on the nose. Oh no, he's gonna hit my salt. He's gonna okay. Oh, he's not gonna hit my villager there. That guy's walking. Hate is gonna hate. <laughs> he's just he's enjoying a pleasant day. Come on, how far was that? 153? I got more than that. You know I got more than that. So what you can do is you can toss nice. from the top of the mountaintop. Oop, I just threw him right into the wall. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, square on the tailbone! Oh, it sucks to be you. You can throw him from the top of a mountain, and you'll get more... You get a better throw out of it. Hey! Took another town. Yeah, flung him off the mountain. Yes, I did. You'll get bonus distance out of it because you have a better starting height. <laughs> I love the multiple views of the landscape you get as you zip, zip, zip everywhere he goes. I just want to get about 200, and then we can really chuck him off of a mountain and just get the record score that we'll finish with. I don't feel like effing around with it for ages. Honestly, it takes way too long for him to fall and do, you know, his little death oh, thing here. Poor old legs. Oh, you poor old legs, laddie. Seriously. Hit something. What is he? Is he rolling through a tree now? I think I busted me liver. You, you can't. Can you really bust your liver like that? I, don't, I, don't, I, don't. I think it's just a placebo effect. He's a hypochondriac. Right on the nose. All right, come on. That had to be more than 170. Give me my gold. How far was it? 281. 15,000 tribute. Come on, come on, <laughs> See if he can break a wall. I don't think he can break a wall. He's 19 years old and he's unemployed. He's also indifferent. All right, let's take a great big chuck off of this mountain, and that should be our last throw for him. Yes, you can sail the seven seas in the navy. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a rundown for what's going on in the world right now, in the world of LPing in my in my little sphere. Uh, Black and White 2 is actually getting close to finishing. There are two lands after this land. 
And once those are done, that's the end of the game for me. I'm not going to be doing expansion packs or anything like that. I kind of started. I kind of started this LP. Shut up, dude! I'm trying to talk. I kind of started this LP on a whim, and it. I sort of. I did. I did a lot of it at once, and then there was a week and a half break for spring break, and then I had to come back and finish the game. So I was kind of. Oh, I didn't get a record. All right, time to kill him. You can be nice. Hoi into the ocean. Uh, and so I kind of just lost my, my interest in it. I had to revamp myself, get, get excited about the game again. But we've only got two lands left. We're doing very well. We've got the we got two ec different two different epic miracles, and we have quite a little bit of money as well. We might actually have enough tribute to buy another epic. On, Did he just I land on his feet? Do your worst. Holy crap! Oh no no no! <gasps> Into the ocean, like I said. <laughs> Throw him in the sea. That devil's a bad influence, man. I'm telling you. Bloop. See you later, Jorg. Uh, it doesn't help that he has the same name as a boss from a Jaws mask. All wet. That's what she said. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. I'm gonna poo on that field. All right. I suppose to celebrate our victory, we should. Nope. Just tantalizing you. You're gonna see me use the volcano before you know it, and it's gonna be against some Aztec assholes. So it's gonna be fun. Um. Yeah, things are going pretty well. We did. We did pretty good in this land. That's basically all I wanted to do. I'm not going to try to attempt any of these other ones. We have, wow, over 500,000. So if we wanted to, we could purchase the... If I was going to buy any any other miracles, epics, it would be the earthquake. Uh, and we're not going to get the money to buy the earthquake, so... It would be best for us to instead buy some other useful things. Uh, giving your creature miracles can be a great way to give you an advantage in combat. If you give your creature the lightning miracle, he can kick some ass against enemy soldiers. In fact, we are probably going to want to buy the Lightning Miracle for ourselves. We're also going to want to pick up a... Da, 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 da. It's a smelter. Did I go past it? Da, da, da. Maybe it isn't called a smelter. Upper mill, siege workshop... Yeah, it is called a smelter. Basically, it takes, it takes 100 ore to make. But it will it'll process the ore that your mine workers excavate, increasing the amount of ore that you can use from a set amount quarried. Basically makes your mining more efficient, so you can get more ore out of a poor number of mines, basically. Uh, a rest home it can be an okay thing to have, but it takes 300 ore to build. But the impressiveness only, is only 500. If you look at the, the variation between buildings, there are some things like universities. Take a 500 ore to build. It's actually pretty good uh, for impressiveness. That could be useful to have. Um, all right, let's get our creature the lightning miracle. I'm just going on a shopping spree now. Um, baths. Uh, nah. Fortify wall, a mighty construction that will keep all enclosed with it safe and will reassure your people. This wall will repel all but the biggest onslaught. Huh. It takes more ore to build, doesn't it? Not interested. It's not gonna. It's not gonna stop me. It's not gonna slow me down. Okay. Best things. Best this. Nah. This is a really impressive building, the amphitheater. As you can see, the ore requirement is very high. And in the next land, we're gonna be uh, at a bit of a shortage for ore. So I'm not gonna purchase anything that takes a whole lot of ore to build. Uh, granaries, graveyards, taverns. Tavern might be okay to buy. Actually, I believe they increase the birth rate. Uh, I, I do actually think that they increase the birth rate of buildings around them. They take a lot of wood to build. And for only that much impressiveness. Huh. I'm not sure if I want that at all. Um, statue markets and things. Hovels. I don't want any of those. You don't want to waste your stuff on embellishments, because they're not going to be a whole lot good, a lot of good for you. A lush, fertile area. Nah. Alright, what else do we want to buy here? Give me a tavern. You know, I want taverns. Let's buy a tavern. Hello, why did I jump all the way back to the stuff I'd already purchased? Let's see. Other things we might want. Graveyards can be good to have. You give your people for uh, a place to bury their loved ones and make them happier. 500 ore for 600 impressiveness. Basically what I'm looking at now is the cost difference between Miracle, or between uh, the amount of ore it takes to build it 
and how impressive it is. So, that's my main concern at this point. The university is probably a good purchase to make. That's a good one, I think. Pretty impressive building. More than double impressiveness than, than, than the amount of ore it takes to build. Baths, again, really fancy, but not really worth it in my opinion right now. For 100,000, too, that's, that's expensive. Towns want to unwind and recuperate and help the atmosphere. Yeah, for 1,000 ore, no thanks. And for 1,500, no, not gonna even bother. And I don't ever make, I don't ever buy siege workshops, in case you're wondering. I just never really use them. I use my creature to break through the walls, if anything. Creature just planted a tree, look at that. Rest home. Uh, I suppose this is a decent one to have. It'll make people happier. Having the, what you call it, graveyard is a good one too for that. But 500 ore? I'm just not sure. I suppose using the smelter would really make things easier for us in that regard. But having, having more variety here is a good thing. It's a very good thing. 400 impressiveness for these different markets, huh? It's interesting. Isn't there another kind of market? A statue. Okay. Plant. Pot. Okay. Make the whole now. Make the whole town nice. 300 wood, 300 ore for 400 impressiveness. It's actually not bad. Wait a minute, does one of these cost more than the others? Well, hell, if the first one's cheapest, let's just buy that one. Okay. Still got 200,000 here. What am I going to want to put this into? Other things we can buy. We're going to want to have... Yeah, we're going to want to have a lightning miracle ourselves. Down to 149,000. Not going to buy that. I'm going to resist the temptation. What else? Creature with a heal miracle. I suppose that could be a good thing to have. It could be useful in combat. I don't know. Let's see. He'll only use them on his own command, so... It's kind of a risk when you're spending too much money on his miracles. Lumber mill. Do we really need 600 ore to build a lumber mill? Screw that. Let's see. Well, that's everything that I'm going to buy. There's no point in me just, you know, there's only one land left, and there aren't any new things going to be unlocked. I might as well just buy things I'm going to use, you know? Alright, um, I'm going to have to win one more land, and I think, yeah, I think we're pretty much set. I'm just going to close that. Huh. <sighs> Alright, so is it time to go to the next land already? Am I going to do that right now? I suppose I am. Let's go ahead and hit, hit the gold scroll. Are you sure you wish to leave the land? Click again to confirm. Uh, yes. Alright, starting the penultimate land now. <laughs> you know the teachings of war. We wrote that book. We can't dwell on this victory for long, though. The Aztecs await us now. The first of the two Aztec lands. And it's it can be threatening. This first one will mess you up. I remember I, I was pretty intimidated by it the first time I played through the game as a kid. 83% good, that's okay. Creature, 36% evil. I don't care enough to even zoom through those for you guys. <laughs> it's just not an exciting thing looking at statistics. That's not why I play video games. 